Good morning everyone. Myself Navyatha Ravi, working as assistant professor in Department of Cyber Security and Data Science in MLR Institute of Technology. Today I am going to discuss about the introduction of database management system. The overview of the concept includes what is DBMS, why DBMS, file system versus DBMS, levels of abstraction, data independence, database system architecture and structure of DBMS. So, in today's concept, we will know about what is DBMS. So, before going to know about what is DBMS, let us discuss some terminologies that is what is a data? What is a data? It is nothing but a raw fact. Data is nothing but a raw fact. That means it is in the format of images, it can be a data can be an image or else the data can be in the form of text or else the data can be in the form of video files, audio files. So, in any format, data is nothing but a raw fact. What is information? What is information? So, information is nothing but processed data, processed data. What is the difference between data and information? Let us deal this one with a simple example. In our daily life, we used to uh, go through YouTube, right? In YouTube, we have uh, uh, large volumes of data regarding movies or else regarding uh, some courses, right? We have uh, large volumes of data which are interrelated and which are not related also. So, whatever the data is available in the YouTube in the form of uh, videos like that, it comes under some volumes of data. Whatever the data that we want, that we want to extract special data from the uh, whole data, then it is called as information. For example, if at all, uh, we have all the courses, we have all the courses available in YouTube, right? For example, Java course, DBMS course, data structures course. These are the courses available in the YouTube. And that is what the data meant for. If at all, I want, especially I want, I used to extract the data, especially the DBMS, then it is called as information in the context of database management systems. So, now we have discussed what is data and what is information. Now, let us discuss what is database. Database. It is nothing but collection of interrelated data collection of interrelated data. What is this interrelated data meant for? What is this interrelated data meant for? For example, we have a student data and we have a course data. These both are interrelated with each other. Why? Because the student data may contain the role number, student role number, name, right? And in course, contains the course name and course ID. These two are interrelated with each other. Why? Because the students enrolled in any of the courses. So, this is what interrelation means. So, database is nothing but collection of interrelated data. Now, let us deal with database management systems. I have dealt with the database and let us discuss with management system. Managing. Managing is nothing but what? Here, management systems is meant for collection of programs, collection of programs, to manage the data, collection of programs to manage the data. That is what managing, managing system is meant for. So, now we have discussed what is data, what is information, what is database and what is management system. Data is nothing but raw fact, information is nothing but processed data, database collection of interrelated data, collection of interrelated data and management system is nothing but collection of programs 
to manage the above interrelated data. So, by combining all these terms, let us define the actual definition of database management systems. So, what is DBMS? It is a collection of interrelated data and a set of programs to store and access those data in an easy and efficient manner. That means a database is nothing but it is a collection of interrelated data and if at all we want to uh, retrieve the information from, from the database or to store the information to the database, we need to manage it in an easy and efficient manner, right? So, that will be managed by the management system. So, it is a collection of interrelated data and a set of programs to store and access those data in an easy and efficient manner. So, it is nothing but a software used to manage the collection of interrelated data and some of the applications where we use these are DBMS, database management systems in which areas, right, in enterprise. Some of the applications here I have mentioned, only some of the applications. Nowadays, we are using database without any data, we can't run anything, right. So, these are some of the applications that I am discussing in enterprise information that is which includes about sales, accounting and human resources, human resources, HR man, which manages the employee details like that and banking and finance, number of customers, universities, universities, how many number of students and number of faculties, branches. So, that information will be maintained and airlines here for ticket booking and for scheduling for that purpose we used to maintain a database right next telecommunication uh, for uh, for managing uh, the calls how many calls that we used to uh, get and what are the calls that we used to maintain daily wise that report can be maintained right these are some of the applications that we use with in the in the area of dbms so why what is the purpose of dbms in earlier days before uh, dbms came into existence we use file systems to store our data. Whatever the data we want, we use file systems, right. So, what is the drawback of file system? File system is used to store uh, less volumes of data. If at all the data to manage large volumes of data, file systems is not uh, applicable, right. So, the main purpose of database system is to manage the data. So, before DBMS was inf invented, information was stored using file processing system shortly FPS file processing system. So, FPS file processing system is nothing but a collection of programs that store and manage files in a computer hard disk. So, by using this uh, file processing system, uh, searching also might take place, searching uh, time will be more and redundancy will be more and inconsistency redundancy leads to this inconsistency. So, here what is redundancy? Redundancy is nothing but the duplication of data. Redundancy is nothing but duplication of data. In file systems, we may maintain uh, duplication. That is nothing but, if at all, let us discuss this redundancy with an example. If at all, a student enrolled in two, two courses, student enrolled in two courses, for example, Java course and DBMS course. A student enrolled in two courses, Java and DBMS. So, here to enroll this Java course, he used to, he or she used to enter his details like uh, name, mobile number, name, mobile number. And to enroll into DBMS course, he should enter name, mobile number. So, later on, if at all, so here the same data, the same data, name, mobile number and here also the same student enrolls into two courses. The same data has been maintained in two different files. That is the duplication of data. So, this is what we called as redundancy. This is what we called as redundancy. We are maintaining the duplication of data in two different files. So, what is inconsistency meant for? Inconsistency. So, inconsistency leads, redundancy leads to inconsistency. Whenever redundancy is present, then it leads to inconsistency. Let us discuss this one with an example. So, if at all 
uh, I used to change my mobile number or else I used to update my mobile number in this one. In Java course, a student want to update a mobile number and we have updated and we have updated here and I used to forgot to update his mobile number in DBMS course. I did not update my mobile number in this course. Then what will happen? Here we are maintaining an incorrect, inaccurate, inconsistency data, right? So here redundancy, because inconsistency is caused due to redundancy, due to duplication. So this will be removed in database management systems. So here uh, that is the reason why DBMS came into existence. So to remove such kind of drawbacks, redundancy, inconsistency, searching time for easy and efficient access to store large volumes of data. So this, uh, these, uh, these uh, drawbacks can be removed uh, and these can be overcome by database management systems. Next, let us discuss the difference between file system and the database management systems. So what is file system? It is a software, as I already mentioned that, it is a software that manages, it is a software that manages and organizes the files in a storage medium within a computer. And what is DBMS? It is a software for managing the database. And what is here for the file system? Redundant data can be present in the file system. There is no redundant data. What is redundancy meant for? That is meant for duplicacy, duplicacy of data. And it does not provide backup and recovery of data if it is lost. In file systems, we can't backup the data if at all it is lost in, in terms of system failure like that. So, it provides backup and recovery of data even if it is lost, even the data lost uh, in case of system failure, hardware or software failure, we can uh, easily recover the data what we have lost. And there is no efficient query processing in the file system. Here in DBMS, there is efficient query processing. See, what is query? Query is nothing but a question that we use to communicate with the database. Users will communicate with the database by using some query languages. So, one of the query languages is nothing but SQL, SQL, structured query language, right? Next, here less data consistency, more data consistency. That means here the data inconsistency will be more. Here it will be uh, less and less complex and less security, more complex and more security. Why? Because here security, security in terms of DBMS will be maintained by database administrator. The whole and sole responsibility of database management system is under the control of DBA, database administrator, who is the whole and sole responsible person. He or she wants to give a permission even to access the data. That means to retrieve the data, to write the data into a database, right? To do any, any kind of action with the database, first we need to want access, we need to acquire the permission from the DBA, database administrator. So, if at all database administrator does not permit us to access the database, then we cannot communicate with the database anymore. And the last one is it is very less expensive and it is more expensive. So, this is the difference between file system and DBMS. Till now, we have discussed about what is DBMS and why DBMS came into existence.